Sorry. Good? It's perfect. Can I get anyone anything else? More wine? Does anyone need anything? Besides a sip of you? No, I'd say we're all fine. I swear to God, they were not that cute when I was in college. Am I wrong? Or does he have a glimmer in his eye for Alex? Oh, Amy. Whatever. What did he say his name was? Drew. Oh, do you even know your own date's name tonight? Amy? Seth Pumpkin. <laughs> hey, JJ. Hey, Betsy. You doing okay? Yeah. Okay, just check it. So, JJ, what do your initials stand for? Jason Joseph. So, which name did your mom call you by? JJ. Except when she was pissed off, then I got the full name. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what you mean. My mom can be a real bitch sometimes. So, how's the kitchen coming? Uh, it's a complete nightmare. Remodeling? Oh, no. JJ and Alex inherited his mom's house. Oh, I'm sorry about that comment about that. It's comment. all good. It's all good, Greg. So, um, how did she die? She was sick. The house is a total nightmare. We started taking down the backsplash in the kitchen on Saturday just thinking it would be a two-day job and the whole wall started to come with it. Oh, don't you just hate that? Alex actually put a hole in one spot by accident and um, when we tried to repair it there was no insulation, just all this empty space between the inner and outer wall. Which explains the fun electric bills we've been getting lately. <laughs> Did you grow up there? No. My mom bought it about a year ago. Oh yeah, that's right. Betsy was telling me your mom was a famous actress. She had some fans back in the day. What movies was she in? Uh, none you probably heard of. She did B-movies. I wouldn't knock that. Work is work, you know? You gotta pay the bills. Humanoid Pirates from Atlantis. Chick Boxer 3. 
there was a part one. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Betsy, I'm going to LA for a couple of nights and I need someone to look in on JJ while I'm gone. Absolutely. Has he been okay since the hospital? Some moments here and there. He mostly just keeps to himself. He's just so lost. Do you think he might try something again? I'd like to think he won't. I'd just feel better if you'd call him while I'm gone. You don't have to go over to the house or anything. Just check in. You got it. My mother always said, should appreciate what God gives you because he can take it back at any moment you have lost it forever I never listened to it don't forget I'm leaving for LA tomorrow What's wrong? JJ. Look at me. What? I'm just nervous about being alone. I'm sorry, JJ, but this is my job, and until you start paying the bills... The insurance money should be coming. Soon, I know. And then we can finish fixing up the house and sell it. What's making you so nervous? This is the first time I'm going to be alone since she died. We never should have moved in here. This is the only way that I can be close to her now, Alex. She died in that bedroom, JJ. You told me she kept seeing some scaly creature that wasn't there. I don't think it's healthy to be here. You crack more and more every day. You don't talk to me. You just sit here in this little huddle, safe inside your own head, never letting anyone in. You never let me in anymore. Go to bed.
isn't how it was supposed to end. It's not over yet, Mom. Oh, Jason. The doctor said you still have a few more months. I have been seeing too much of him. The doctor? No, that scaly black man with the sunken black eyes and the, all the things on his shoulders. Don't you see him? has been hanging up there all day. I think he is a demon. I think he's come to get me. I think there's squirrels on the roof. As long as it's not something crawling around inside the walls, I'm fine. some inspiration for my script. Uh-huh. So, Georgianne is inspiring you? Can you blame me? <laughs> okay, well, I'm heading off to the airport. You can do this. I know. Two days of laying around in your underwear, eating junk food, and not listening to me, bitch. No, I'm gonna do some work in the kitchen, finish the backsplash, maybe get out into the yard and trim the bushes, keep myself busy. Oh, oh good, good. I'll believe it when I see it.
better get to the airport. I'll call you when I'm in. Well, that's not good. Are you sure you don't want any more, Mama? I am fine. Just one more bite? How about a nice chip?
I think I would really like to sleep for a while. So many things to say, Jason. There's still time, Mama. Hey, George Ann. Hey, JJ. You know, you should have done that earlier today when it was a little cooler. You are correct in that, madame. You know, you totally freaked me out last night. How? Oh. Well, I didn't expect to see you watching me through the window at midnight. What are you talking about? When I got home last night, I looked up and I saw you watching me through the window. George Ann, I swear to God, I went to bed at 10 o'clock last night. Somebody was watching me through the window, and it wasn't Alex.
Hey, Betsy. What you doing? Uh, well, I should be finishing the laundry. Working on repairing the wall in the kitchen. Or sanding the lovely wood floor in the dining room where the previous owner cut out a chunk to lower a pool table into the basement. Get out! I kid you not. You should see all the crazy additions and nooks and crannies in this place. I keep finding something new every time I go to repair something. Of course, I could also be working on the screenplay I've been writing for the last five years. Instead, I keep searching for something in this house that just isn't there. Like what? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Huh. Well, in that case, I just wanted to let you know that one of your mom's movies is on TV in about 15 minutes. No, no, it's fine. I'm... I mean, I'm fine. Uh, what channel is it on? There's dinner. It's just the house settling. What are you waiting for? Do something! A bit heavy on the vodka there, Jason Joseph. That wasn't even your real name.
braving the great outdoors or being set up on shy blind days. I'm going to school. Oh, yeah, where at? Kent State, studying to be a botanist. A botanist? Yeah, you know, flowers, plants, that kind of thing. Oh. oh. Oh, perfect timing. I'm in Atlanta, catching my connecting flight to LA. You know, I really don't get this fly east to go west thing. Are you okay? JJ? There's something in the closet. Well, as long as it's not you, we're okay. Is it a squirrel? Remember, I told you to put some more mesh over that hole in the roof. <laughs> a squirrel? I don't think so. Well, maybe, maybe I guess you're right. Okay, are you feeling edgy? Yeah, Alex, I am edgy. I'm sorry, uh, I'm fine. Okay, well, I have to catch my connecting flight, so I'll be in the air for about three hours and I'll call you when I land, okay? 
Are you gonna be all right? Yeah. Yeah, have a, have a safe flight. Bye. JJ, calm down. You're not making any sense. That's what I'm telling you. There is something going on inside my house. I closed the window and muted the television, and they were both changed when I came back. No, and Alex thinks that there's some, it's just some fucking squirrel in the attic that came in through a vent, and it's making this noise, and I'm... Betsy, there is something in my house. I know how crazy I sound, Betsy, I do. 
So are you saying there's a person in the house or something else? Who or what did you actually see? Nothing. Look, I don't want you to go back inside if it's not safe. But honestly, JJ, is there really something to be worried about? Old houses creak and they moan. I know you said you closed the window, but maybe you just thought you did. Maybe you're just really tired. I am so tired, Betsy. I feel weird. And you told me the other day that the doctor gave you some new meds. And if I know you, you sat down to watch your mom's movie with a cocktail, yes? Yes. I'm coming over. No, Betsy. It's not an offer. I tell you to come here, but I'd rather sit on your couch than bail you out of jail for a DUI. That's money that can go toward another pair of Nanette Lepore neon floral wedges. Go see if you can stay at Georgianne's until I get there. I don't think she's home. Well, go find out. If she's not, just wait for me outside. I'll be there in about half an hour. Okay. Monster in the house, this is stupid. Hello? Hey, Amy. What you doing? Ah, nothing. Oh, it's pretty, pretty slow. You want to come in for a cocktail? Oh, I'd love to. But I have to get over to JJ's house. He's having some kind of episode. I just want to know if you want to come over after work. Oh, well, as fun as that sounds. No, I, I think I'm just going to head home. But call me if you need me, okay? Oh, hey, I got to go. I'll, I'll call you back later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Hurting mama. Where are you?
妈妈。The scaly black man. Oh, save me! Never let me go. Hi, Alex. It's Betsy. It seems like JJ's having an episode. I'm heading over there now. Please give me a call when you land. Thanks. Oh, shit. Kirshner, anything upstairs? Check the closets, none of the beds, behind the desks, there's nothing to find. And who are you? Betsy Kane. Are you supposed to be here? I'm looking for JJ Tyler. Family member or friend? What happened? He's not dead, Miss Kane. He's in the backyard. Sergeant Walton. What is it, Bertino? There's uh, something you should see.
Hey, isn't it that uh, Scream Queen that killed herself a couple weeks ago? Mr. Tyler, my men have scoured the property. Now, if there was an intruder, there most certainly is no longer anyone on the premises. You don't believe me. There are all kinds of monsters in the world, Mr. Tyler, but none of them come from the fantasy realm created by your bathroom cabinet and minibar. I know what I saw, Sergeant Bowman. I understand that you've been under some significant stress since your mother passed away. That's not why. And I also understand that you've recently spent some time at St. Luke's. Now, I'm wondering if perhaps it might not be a good decision to drive you there tonight. I'll be with him for the rest of the evening, Sergeant. She's a good friend, Mr. Tyler. Keep her close. All right, let's wrap it up. Alex should have landed by now and I still can't reach her. Uh, Mr. Tyler, we have confirmed with the airline that your wife is indeed in flight. She should be arriving in about 20 minutes or so. Thank you, Sergeant Walton. Mm. How about a peppermint tea? It's more than losing my mom. I never really had her bets. I mean, she was always so enthralled with being a celebrity that the cheap movies and small paychecks always came first. <laughs> I know everyone thinks that I was still attached to the nipple, but the fact is that I just wanted to cherish every moment that we had together because they didn't happen very often you know when she was sick this is gonna sound awful it's okay i'm not here to judge it was the first time in my life that she was really mine just mine you know you have a lot of other friends showering love on you. you know? Yeah, well, Alex is pretty much over me right now. Now, why would you say that? Uh, let's see. Failed screenwriter. Um, obsessed with dead mother. Can't put out. Severe depression. Nervous breakdown, I'm started seeing things, I'm going completely paranoid. I've gone crazy, and she can't put up with it anymore. Are you keeping the diabetes in check? Oh yeah, that too. <laughs> Look, come on, JJ, I'm serious. You know if your sugars are out of whack, that could explain the fatigue, your mood swings, maybe even seeing things that aren't there. It can affect everything about you. I mean, yes, your mother's suicide was a huge blow, but you were telling me about these other symptoms before that. The thing is, Betts, I just don't like the outside world. I, 
I don't want to go out. I have to force myself. The other night at the Envy, I didn't really want to be there. I wanted to be by myself. I've been that way for so long. I didn't want anyone, any of you, to know. Why not? It's embarrassing. I love you. Our friends, I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I thought that leaving Chicago would help me feel safer, but this house just made me more confused. I know Alex isn't happy here, and I am obviously looking for something, that, some piece of my mother that I just can't, I'm never going to get. Since the breakdown, the feeling, depression, the loneliness, it, I crack a little more every day. Alex says I keep everything inside, and she's right. It's the only place that I truly feel safe. Is there a psychological term for that? I don't know. Hermit? <laughs> I miss my mom so much. I know, honey. You know, they say that if you realize you're going crazy, that means you're not crazy at all. <laughs> Thanks for trying. I bet that's Alex. Go answer. Everything okay? Alex just arrived in LA. See? Nothing to worry about. What's this? Just one of the many fun things about this house. See? What is that? It's the back side of my washing machine. Come here. This used to be an entrance. See the original frame? <laughs> Funky. Remember when I told you the house was built in 1900? The living room and kitchen were added in the 50s? Yeah. There's all kinds of weird things like this. I keep finding them every time I tear down walls or pull up carpet. Did I tell you about the pool table? Where the previous owners lowered it through the floorboards into the basement. <gasps> Too much. They didn't even bother to replace the original boards. Cover it with carpeting and the draft goes away. Geez, your mom really left you a death trap. JJ, this is why you're seeing things. Little gusts of wind are blowing things around, making the house creak. The house isn't alive. It's just really fucked up. If you say so. Well, that's certainly not going to help. It calms my nerves.
just a light, JJ. You've got a huge leak. Oh. What's above this? I don't know. Just looking for the leak. Do you need a flashlight? I don't think so. There's a light bulb in here, but I just can't figure out how to turn it on. Isn't there a switch or a pull string? I don't see one. I'll get a flashlight. Oh. Yeah, it's leaking. Probably just like in the kitchen. Another freaking expense. God! What? That's how it's getting around the house. What is? I don't know what it is, Betsy. It's the thing. It's... JJ, you need to tell me what you saw in there. It's, 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 it's the original part of the house, Betsy. It's, you can, there, you, there's a wall. You can see it. The corridor, it's open. There's a path. It, it's, that's how it's moving through the house. All right. Let me go look. No, 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 you don't. It's waiting for you in there, Betsy. Don't, it's gonna get you. Nothing's going to get me because there's nothing there. Now just let me go look. Right to leave me. God wasn't ready for you yet. You took his choice away. You didn't care about mine. You could have stayed a little bit longer. You, he would have let you stay longer. JJ, who are you talking to? You okay? Do you want to go to St. Luke's? No. That's okay. You don't have to. How about we just get you into bed and you rest for a little while?
No. I'm not leaving. I'm just going outside for a smoke, and I'll come back in a little bit. I'm going to stay in the guest room, so I'll be here all night. I'm so scared, Betsy. I think it's a demon. I think it's going to come and get me. Nothing's coming to get you, JJ. I'm so tired. I know, baby. Just close your eyes and rest for a while. I'll be back in a few minutes to check on you. I promise I'll even crawl into bed with you for a little while, okay? Will you call Alex? Ask her to come home early. Sure. Please keep me safe. You're going to be like that. Mm -hmm. I am. I've been dealing with porn stars and perverts all night, and I haven't made any money doing it. So yeah, I am. I'm gonna make myself a nice cocktail. I'm gonna watch some bad TV, and I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna call Seth and see if he'll come over and bore me. You can be just as bored keeping me company here, Amy. That's what sisters do for each other. Yeah, well, this sister is going to go home, get laid, and go to sleep. Why? I mean, is he freaking out that bad? Complete meltdown. I'm seriously thinking about taking him into the E-Ward, but I feel like I should ask Alex first. Why? What is he doing? He's totally convinced that something's lurking inside the house trying to kill him. He thinks his dead mother is appearing to him. He has been drinking, and I think he took too many pills. He called the frickin' cops. They were ready to haul him off to the hospital. He put a knife through his mother's photo, Amy. Are you serious? Betsy, you can't be alone with him. He's not going to hurt me. I just put him to bed. He's so exhausted and intoxicated that he was probably asleep before I got downstairs. <sighs> All right. I'll be there in 20 minutes. And you better have a cocktail waiting for me. Love you.
Amy will be here in a little bit. And then you are gonna slam the biggest glass of hooch that your adorable little waist can handle. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Much better. I am not dealing with this. Betsy? Betsy?
Don't recognize me, do you, bud? Can I get anything for anyone else? More wine? What size is it for you? No, I'd say we're all wine. My God. Why? Because Alex loves me. And without you, she gets the house, your psycho mother's money, and none of the exhaustion that your fucked up mind dumps on her. She, she wouldn't do that to me. Oh, she would. Her plan was actually to put you in the nut house permanently. She showed me all the ins and outs of this house. about all those little nooks and crannies if someone hadn't told me that they were there. And the cops are going to be here any second to arrest your drunken, crazy, drugged up ass. So... No. 
It's one of the most bizarre, disturbing murder investigations the city of Racine has seen in years. Survivor Amy Kane told police that upon her arrival at the scene, J.J. Tyler murdered her sister Bessie Kane, then turned the knife on her. Toxicology reports indicate Tyler had a large number of prescription medications in his system and his blood alcohol level was almost three times the legal limit. The surviving Kane stated to police that at the time of the attack, J.J. Tyler appeared to be in a fit of dementia Neighbors say Tyler was recently caught spying on them. Other reports show that Tyler had recently spent time in St. Luke's E Ward due to mental health issues following the death of his actress mother, Crystal Lake, whose given name was Fran Tyler. J.J. Tyler's wife, Alexandra Tyler, has chosen not to appear on camera, but did release a statement in which she said she feels guilt for having been out of town at the time of the crimes, and her thoughts go out to the victims and their families. Julie King, Eyewitness 14 News. Thank you. I've been really quiet today. Hey, talk to me. I never meant for anyone to be killed, Drew. Look, I know everything didn't work out exactly the way you wanted it to, but ultimately the whole plan worked. You were never a part of the long-term plan. <laughs> 